Hey guys, this is Cackling Cat, and we are going to attempt to play Monstrum and not have incredibly sweaty hands because we're scared as all heck. So let's get started. Lovely loading screen. Taking a while. Need some elevator music. Do 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 I'll just I'll just sing it for you. It's okay. Do 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 Okay, so press F, open, thing is, oh, we're in the bathroom, eh? Okay, let's see, picking things up, and press C for note, which I'm sure most of you probably know that. I think something's gone seriously wrong. I haven't seen another pair in hours. They went to investigate the engine, but no one's come back. There's definitely a fire. I can smell them burning. What can you smell burning, I wonder? I don't want to make any noise by banging the doors. I heard Fred yelling and then he just cut off. If you wake up and find this, I'm making for the port side balcony to use the life raft. I'm leaving. I know you're sick but we have to get off of this ship. If you arrive in the next hour, I will be waiting. Okay, wow. I might have to fix my mouse sensitivity later on some more. Still, I like having more control of my mouse. I'm weird like that. Well, fine, don't close. Okay, so I have seen some of this. Uh, quite a bit, actually. I really like the game. But, uh, I've only played it once, and that was mainly to get my bearings on the basics, you know, on <laughs> what to do. Although, it didn't, didn't really help <laughs> at all. But, you know. I had also been drinking, which is usually, you know, not, not the best combinations of, a uh, horror game thing, although sometimes the funnest ways to play horror games, although the scariest as well. But, you know, well, whatever. Don't really need to worry about closing them so much. Another note. Oh, I have a couple notes. Hopefully, Ellis, Ellis doesn't take too long running those, this to, wow, bleh, running this to Carlson. I want you two to check on the engine room. We've checked all the connections in the ca in the castle tower, so it's definitely nothing on this side. Being without power in the Pacific isn't exactly desirable, so get to it. P.S. Ellis asked me why I don't just fix this, t fax this to you. Wow, I cannot read today. Fax this to you in in a power outage. He th <laughs> well, I think the fats finally moved to his brain. I'm thinking so. Okay, so we launched successfully at 2 a.m. To my knowledge, we are we were not seen. It took us just over an hour uh -oh, to reach... Mm -hmm. I do unfortunately know what that usually means. Ah, damn it. I can't remember how to... Is it shift? <laughs> it would probably help if I remembered how to... Um, Wow, there, control. How to actually get under things, that might be helpful for... Unfortunately, I do know that means the fiend is here. Because I have seen the fiend playthroughs on a couple things, at least a couple of them. So while we're waiting for our lovely friend to show up, we'll finish reading. It took just over an hour to reach the spawning ground. We collected four specimens, two of which we, we suspect are damaged beyond use. We return to dock at 6 a.m. At this rate, two further expeditions will be required if we are to have enough specimens to continue research until we reach the next spawning ground. Keep Keeping up with the 
Hisumaru will be impossible unless she remains docked, so you'll need to think of an excuse to stay longer in the Hong Kong. I need to sleep. Minus two. Okay, okay. I think I might end up switching my crouch button if possible. Try to, if possible, check out this whole area. Since we know he's wouldn't here by, we are going to lock some things. And there's some lovely Coca Cola and a lighter. Bum, 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 bum. To hide for a little bit. I'm a big old chicken. You know, being pulled apart, not one of my favorite things. You know, it doesn't make my day. Yeah, Maybe for others, it's a thing, but not so much for me. Let's see. We are going to take our chances. Because we don't want to hide too long. Because what's the fun of that? Nope. Gonna be honest, we're gonna read that later. It's a really bad room to be stuck in. And another room with, oh, that's good. Gasoline. So far, so good. Well, kinda, I mean. Not really anything so far, which is kind of a good thing. Some coffee cups, not really necessary unless you're an advanced player, which I am not. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with them. I know they scare the, uh, the big red dude off, but since I'm pretty sure that's not who we have, I'm not super concerned about picking one up. Ooh, almost got caught in that one. Damn it. We are gonna get caught. Okay, so that was not good. <laughs> so we'll see what's going to happen. I have to say the, the monster that I prefer is the big guy. I don't know. Maybe it's because he's very obvious. And he's very old school horror where it's the big lumbering raw monster who you kind of see coming and normally can get away from. The fiend, I have to say, freaks me out a bit. The hunter is creepy just because he's super stealthy and you're just like, woo. But yeah. So. Uh, we're going to hang out for a little longer. Okay. We're going to head out. It could be bad. Oh shit, no! Ah, oh, crap. No! Damn it, I threw my flashlight at him. <laughs> That's probably not gonna help any. <laughs> There's the fiend. So let's go ahead and play another game and see uh, see if we can do any better. Ooh. Oh, stupid cameras. Oh my goodness. Ah, that guy has a four etched on his hand in this picture. That's weird. I wonder if that means something. Like some weird little Easter egg, like 
someday match up all the letters and you win a prize. Who knows? Out of curiosity, I don't think there's ever anything in this lovely shower. What I want to know is, what kind of ship is this? It is the most decrepit ship I have ever seen in my life. I mean, seriously, rust everywhere. Like, understandable, they're doing illegal activities. But still, I mean, you know, I think you'd have something. Like, not just horribleness on there, but, you know. And we'll read the, the notes a little bit later, guys. When we get stuck in a locker. I'm really hoping it's not the fiend again. It's like, he said he's not my, well, he's a good monster. He scares the pants off of you, but you know. Yay. More backpack space. Not that I have anything. Let's go down this way where there's not a camera yet. Although the lights are... not fantastic probably like the worst possible place for me to go right here because it's all whatever it is <laughs> it's all something yeah that's right something now I am not gonna even remotely come close to guaranteeing that I will probably ever survive this in any way I would love to say that in real life I'm one of those people that would fight back or run, but I'm afraid that I'm probably one of those people that just freezes and is like, oh, unfortunate. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Not what I want to do either. Really? Okay. Let's go back over here. Let's see if we can kinda. I see you, camera. I do. I see you and your creepy. Mm. Lovely decorations here. Some smashable thingies. Uh, no. Well, <laughs> looks like it may possibly be the fiend again. Then again, it could just be a power surge. It's. Let's hope it's a power. It's not a power surge. <laughs> it's the little purple bastard. Excuse me, little purple monkey. That's right. The floating, evil, giant-headed purple monkey. Okay. Let's see. Huh? Let's let's read our notes while we're here. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, might as well, because if he gets us, then he gets us. Received two patients, ABSG, Chekhov, and C. Wilson, with second-degree scalding to the face and upper body, consistent with exposure to pressurized steam. Both patients were... Sh Showering. Wow, I was going to say stalking. They were stalking when burned. <laughs> they were stalking people. Luckily, they were found quickly and early treatment administered. Wounds were cooled and cleaned. Loose dressing applied. Discharged with instruction to avoid physical labor, which could rupture blistering. That's bad. Causing infection and, of course, pain and possible death. Prescriptions. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And I can't, I'll never remember which ones I read right offhand. So say Bodie and Fred came to me today. Brett hasn't returned or, re or reported in from maintenance for three days. I've shared the news with the rest of the crew, but no one's seen him. We searched the entire ship, found his tools near the boiler, covered in black suit, covered in black soot, but he seemed to be gone. Didn't seem like the type to jump overboard, but it's looking likely at this point, getting the rest of the crew to believe it is believe it is proving difficult though they've begun moving around the ship in pairs as an unwritten rule 
Hopefully, they'll come to their senses in a few days and accept what's happened. Rather than believing in sea monsters, with Chekhov and Wilson sticking to their bunk, we need all the remaining crew on top form for specific crossing. Pacific, not specific. The specific crossing. Go away. Being stalked by the stalker blue guy. Purple guy. Purple stalker. Ah, and I'm not in a good spot. Unfortunately, I think they have them like in a loop as AIs where they just kind of keep going. Well, wow, that was not. We're just going to run. Oh, God damn it. I have a feeling he's going to get us. <laughs> so I locked myself. I am not doing very good. I apparently, whoo, the fiend, the fiend, or yeah, right? Yeah, the fiend, the purple guy, purple floaty dude, likes to brain power kill you. It's not my friend. Oh, we have flashlight, flashlight. Oh, okay, well. Oh, it's too bad it doesn't show you the amount of power you have on per flashlight. Oh, well, I was just getting ready to get out, but, um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is a lovely room. Beautiful. Beautiful. I probably just should have kept running. I have a feeling it's a dead end, though, over there or something. So, we will try it in a minute. Okay, I'm super getting bored, though, of sitting here. Very, very impatient for impending doom. Apparently. I have a feeling... Me. Oh, yeah. See? I was right. Mm -hmm. We're going to go upstairs. It... Wow, that looked like a, I'm not really sure. It looked like a lamp. Like, oh, wait, they're giving us lamps now for some reason. Holy shit. Ah, no, open, open the door. <laughs> no. Why do I have my thing in my hand? Why? I don't know. Stupid fiend. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Maybe we'll get another monster. But I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going to do much better. But yeah. Whoo. Oh, the fiend. The fiend. Like I said, it takes me two seconds to be like, oh, maybe I should run. Hmm. That might be good. Running's good. You know, running, not dying. Not dying is always a preferable preferable thing. Looking at the ceiling. Apparently, I really like this bathroom. Yeah, that's cool. Open that because you never know. Maybe someday there'll be a hot, sexy man standing there. Or a hot, sexy woman. Whatever you prefer. Maybe both. Hey, you know, it's all good. Or maybe it will just be like something else. I don't know. It would just be a shower. And you'll be like, yes! I really needed a shower really badly. Who doesn't like showers? They're awesome. Baths. Baths are pretty cool too. Anyway, the hub, the, on the subject of hygiene, let's go ahead and... Mm, 
you know, I probably should just instantly move somewhere else because apparently me hanging out where I spawn at has not really worked out for me much. Although, uh, pretty sure it's probably my own fault there. doors open that we've been to. This looks like the place that died last time. Oh, okay. So two ways out right there. So, you know, you'd think you'd be fine if you're being relatively quiet, right? But apparently uh, you spawn only where the monsters are. And they're like, hey, of course, that helps if you don't do that. Let's hide. Let's hide and see who we have. Because I would imagine they're going to be coming. If they don't, then we are definitely going back to these other doors and leaving. To anywhere else on the ship. Yeah. So far, so good. Okay, so we're going to take our chances. leave because uh yeah because yeah because we just had downed our presence there so we're gonna move on pretty sure I just heard something it's the problem with really good microphone though is sometimes you hear your own house and you're like oh my gosh what was that you know gotta scare yourself why not? Okay, we're walking really slowly because we've died multiple times already, you know. And in real life, once you die multiple times, you already know that you should walk slowly. That's right. That's right. I guess I could go into every one of these, like, oh, I wonder what's going to happen. <laughs> and just run around until I see the monster and then be like, oh my goodness, there is a monster. For some reason, I know I'm on a ship and I don't know why. There's the helicopter. There we go. Since I have cheesy doodled a bit, I do know that that means that it's telling me I need things. So I'm not going to go over that. Because more than likely, I'm not the very first person you've watched, which is awesome. I don't mind because I've watched many people play this because I really like this game. I like being scared. I, it's a horrible thing. It's an addiction, really. But anyway. So we're going to go over to this horrible area, hard hats only, and see how long we can survive here. Yeah, yeah. At least there's not any cameras down here, just the, just the horrible steam. And whatever possibly might be stalking me. Let us see. Pretty sure I just heard something. Stinking coffee cups. I have, I have got nothing but a fuse and some lights. Ridiculous amount of breakables. Aw oh, man. No. I'm gonna keep walking. Because if it's purple floaty dude, then uh, pretty much screwed no matter what. <laughs> See, magically found me with, without me making much noise. I'm making some noise, but not as much as the thing. <sighs> I guess the fiend really likes me tonight. It's like, hey, baby. 
You want to die? I'm like, no. No, I don't. I really don't. No. No. I'd, re I'd really, really like to survive. <laughs> you know. You know. Although if it was real life, I'd, I'd probably take my chances with the ocean and the sharks. I'll be honest. I'd be like, what? Eh. We're going to jump over the side. We're grab a box. Jump over the side. Maybe we'll survive. Maybe we won't. We take our chances. Holy criminy. No, no, no. No! No! <laughs> Dead end. Oi. I do not like you, fiend. No. Mm. Is it needs to be a Friday so I could call it Fiendish Fridays because um so far three and zero oh for the fiend and uh, me big fat zero because yeah oh I am I'm probably gonna call it and well no 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 we'll play one more game we'll play one more game and hopefully it's not the fiend and then I'm gonna call it a night for the night guys because whoo. Oh, he scares me. It's like a demented purple smurf or something. That's like like the poltergeist of purple smurfs. I don't know. It's really freaky. It's horrible. <sighs> oh, 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 we're not in the bathroom. That's a shocker. Or can we just stay here? <laughs> Let's starve to death. We were we're just willing to starve to death, you know. Uh, uh, uh. Instead of, you know, being crushed to death by the fiend or having your head, well, be, by the fiend and by the big guy. And, uh, or being eaten alive, which is probably one of my number one fears. Yeah, that and being impaled. Yeah, pretty much. So those are, those are fantastic things. Fantastic things. They, God, they don't have some weird impalation monster because I just, I couldn't play the game then. I'd be like, nope. Lots of nope. That's going to be a negative. Yeah, I know, but you, there's already a thing in, well, actually. Does that mean there's a room down here? Yeah, we might as well see, right? Ah, what was that? Let me shove my face into it. Like, okay. How about let's not do that. Shoving our faces into things is not usually a good thing. Especially in these kind of... Oh, the pump. Fantastic. Not that I've actually made it to, like, anything. Really. I have to give props to people who've uh, completed this, I have to say. Because, uh, yeah, I'm bad. Super bad. That's okay, though. Because I'm enjoying myself. Scares the pants off of me. You know what? Let's go see if... Yeah, I'm going to... I'm just going to see if I can find the stairs, which we will make our way over there. I will open doors that I get to. Hopefully I'm not missing nothing. Okay, I'm not going to open all this. Because usually it's just smashables and maybe like glow sticks. And glow sticks are amazing and awesome. They are uh, not currently worth dying for. No, not. So we're going to go up here. And since we have something for something, we're going to just uh, slowly make our way. <laughs> slowly, slowly make our way. Not that it really matters, to be honest. Because they always know... Because they're amazingly magical monsters that are like, yes, I was over at the other side of the boat. But then I somehow knew that you were going to go over here. So I somehow quickly got there faster than you. I don't know. Who knows? You know. Monsters, after all. You, who knows the secret life of monsters? Indeed. Oh... Walking slow is killing me because it's so freaky. 